Good morning, Kate. Well, we're here at the house and you can get an idea, long asphalt driveway. It does have a separate shop down below at the highway. So you're sitting, excuse me, on almost five acres up here and don't have any neighbors. And it does have a brand new roof. The inside looks pretty darn spotless. I was just in, here's your underground power coming in. Two car garage, sidings all concrete lap siding, newer vinyl windows. And the home itself is pretty darn immaculate. Maintenance yard is pretty low maintenance um, and is pretty darn squared away. It has this two car garage and also has one below as well. So you're gonna see this video fade in and fade out a little bit as I go to diff different parts of the house. All right, we're coming around the right side of the house for this would actually would be the south side of the home and you are all wind protected up here on the south side comes up into a ridge you butt up into national forest there is some private property up here but it's very large acreage behind you then it's all national forest for thousands of acres so um you are far enough up that you are not on the Hasita water district you are on a well but the good news of, about the well is is that it's pretty darn new and it looks like it's in exceptional shape. So really low maintenance on that side of it. The house is also plumbed to have propane. So for a propane fireplace or something like that as well. The outside paint is all new. Um, it does have a fenced dog run in the back and the landscaping's all pretty natural. And up here, if you listen, other than my obnoxious voice, all you can hear is trees. And you hear the crashing of, of the ocean. So we'll head around the other side of the house and we'll go take a look at the inside. All right, here's the back of the house. Once again, it's all been, all been painted, chain link dog run. And then you're headed back up to property line, goes up that way about 200 and some odd feet. And all the rain drains run down the front of the front of the mountain. So water completely is gone, takes completely away from the house. Here's the garage. Ultraviolet fil filtration. Newer hot water heater. Now there's two ways into the house from down here. It also has an alarm system, attic access. And this is one way, because this door here takes you out to the dog run or the back fence where I just was. And as we go in, this is gonna be just a little mud room. It's a concrete slab, so it's all finished and heated in here. This would be great for a freezer. I think they use it for, the house doesn't smell like dogs, but that was a dog run fence. So I'm guessing maybe this is where their, their puppies were, but I'm not seeing any hair or smell or anything like that. So, and here we're at the lower level. And here's bedroom number number two. Nice big closet. Finish work looks good. Paint is great. Oh, um, what you really can't see out of this camera is that's the ocean you're looking at through there. All laminate flooring. Here's the hall bathroom. Here's the other door out to the garage. There's the alarm system panel and breaker service over there on that wall. Here's the master bedroom. Once again, beautiful views out overlooking the ocean. Here's the master bath. It's got a tow kick heater down there. Here's the jetted jacuzzi tub that overlooks the ocean as well. And the hot or the jacuzzi tub even has a GFI outlet in case there's any shortage with the electric motor inside the hot tub. It's all secured. And here is the shower we were talking about earlier. So there's a shower behind the door, it does have a seat in it. Here's the walk-in closet. So pretty fair sized walk-in with all the built-ins. Come out here, it has got a private water closet for the toilet.
and back into the master. We'll head upstairs. Actually, before we head upstairs, actually, before we head upstairs, here's the laundry. I was thinking laundry's off the kitchen, but I misspoke. So you've got a full folding counter. It's got a heater exhaust fan in here, and you've got quite a bit of additional under stairwell storage that's lit, that's lighted under here for holiday decorations and whatnot. A big folding counter. And appliances come with it. Now we're headed upstairs. This is the main landing and foyer. Here's the front entry porch and deck here. Large turnaround parking. This also has an additional shop on this acreage down the driveway at the very bottom of the hill. So it's about a 400, and, 400 to 500 square foot shop down there. Now here's the dining room, living area, gas fireplace, lots of built-ins. Everywhere you go, there's built-ins. And the view up here It's pretty stellar. What trees right here and here that are blocking your view to those two directions could easily be just trimmed up because they're on this property. And in the kitchen, we've got all maple cabinets. I would have to say the appliances would be something I probably would upgrade. The only thing that's newer is the cooktop right here. But everything else is GFI protected. The cabinets are all built-ins, lots of rollers. And it's got a nice size butler's pantry as well. Lots of shelves and plug-ins in here. And here's your dining room area. And we'll head out onto the deck. Now here's the deck, it's all composite decking, so it's not wood. So it's, we'll be here for a long, long time. And there's the ocean. Lots of timber, nice asphalt driveway all the way down to the highway. You can't hear the highway from here. The only thing you can hear is a little rumble from the ocean. Lots of trees. Here's where you're gonna have elk coming through the property and deer. Here's this side of the houses, and that's where the, the fencing comes in. All the range ranges you're seeing are right down, right down there, all come down and we'll go right off the front of the front of the house. This is all laminate flooring in here, nine foot ceilings up and down, big windows. New paint, new roof, everything looks good. The house deserves to have the countertops updated and it deserves appliances. Um, but other than that, it's in pretty darn nice shape. I really don't have anything ne negative to say. The water facilities are great. The septic's been inspected. It's pretty darn new and it looks great. Views outstanding and very private. And you're about, well, to be out on the ocean out there from here to be on the beach is... Um, you know, it might take you, might take you a minute to two minutes to get out to the beach from here and to get into Fred Meyer and get into town, you're probably got about an eight minute drive. So we're on the, on the North end of Florence and you are well out of the tsunami zone up here. You're about 400 and some feet above the ocean. The skyline you're looking out there. I wish this picture of you would do better than what I can show you. But that skyline of the ocean out there is about 20 miles out. Well, I did forget to show you there is a half bath over here as well. Just, so you can take a look at the trim. Everything in this house 
Light switches are clean, zonal heating all works all the way through, all the cabinetry is in good shape. Everything looks really pristine. For a 1997 home, this is in exceptionally good condition. A few taste issues, like I said, about the appliances and the countertops, but all in all, it's a, it's a pretty darn...